Do I need to make sure that my audio is going through and everything again? Um, you should just put your mic up to your mouth and then I'll tell you if it is. Yeah, I think it is. All you've done is breathe so far. Oh yeah, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Enough small talk. I want to hear about this. Uh, you're just weird. I ask you about something, and then you're like, "Yeah, I don't know." And then two days later on your Insta story, you're like, "I'm in Montana." I'm just like, "Okay." <laughs> oh, what is happening there? So, what did you ask me about? I forgot. Well, I asked you about the job, and then you were just like, "Yeah, it's good." And then the next day, like you were in like Montana. So right. you want to you want to give me a run through? Was it your first like actual run through of a day in the life of whatever you're doing? Yeah, so was my, that was my first uh, go around, and it was really good. Went really smoothly. Um, drove for like six hours, then drove for another three hours, um, and then basically all of Tuesday, from like Tuesday at like five a.m. to like one a.m the next morning oh where flights. was you driving so i went from st george to marietta california then i went from marietta california to las vegas then i flew from las vegas at 5 a.m to salt lake then i had a couple hours layover and then i flew from salt lake to missoula montana then we drove 30 minutes then we got food because our flight didn't take off till five it was five hours later it was noon at the time Oof. so we had to sit around for five hours we go on a flight from missoula montana at five to salt lake and then we have a three-hour layover and then 10 30 at night we fly back to las vegas we get back in our car and we go back to st george i got home at like 3 30 a.m so it was literally like 30 plus hours probably of like i was taking as many naps as i could like sleeping on every flight wow um, sleeping in the car and stuff like that try to like keep up on my sleep but like yeah dude it felt like a week i felt like i was gone for a week but i was gone for like a day and a half it's crazy dude so were you and Luke just switching off driving then? So it wasn't me and Luke. We're not. I probably I probably won't do it with Luke for a while. There's like a lot to learn to kind of lead one of those. Oh, I was just gotcha. with another guy that works there. He's pretty chill. Um, but like if you think about it, it's only a day and a half, right? And yeah, it's all like all night. But like the actual time you lose is like minimal, right? So I get home, I fall asleep on Wednesday, wake up. It's like I really was. It was only Monday night, Monday evening, and Tuesday that I really missed, right? So a day and a half, <clears throat> and. I got, I mean, should I just tell you what I made? Uh, you know? Yeah, probably, probably. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just be specific. So I made 700 bucks and it's like day and a half, $700. I'm like, that's, that's good, dude. That's really nice. And I'm like, and it's like, it's not like a regular job where you got to like constantly pay attention. Like if you work at a fast food restaurant, like you're constantly like wait, making stuff. And if you work as a server, yeah. you're constantly serving. It's like, I'm chilling in airports, taking naps. I'm like on an airport, a plane, like snapping people. Yeah, those vibes are games. cool, dude. Yeah, it's way chill. Yeah. And I'm like, these are the kind of those jobs where it's like, you can't really find it unless you have like some sort of connection. And like, if I do like two or three of those a week, you still have a couple of days off, you still have plenty of time. And it's like, that's a lot of money, right? So I'm thinking two a yeah. week will give me plenty of money and plenty of time. So I'm hoping that we can get like a consistent like schedule on rolling on like doing those, mm -hmm. but I haven't been called for another one. So I think it might start out like one a week for a little bit, but even that. Is and fine. so you, you did all that traveling. Were you with one of the kids that you picked up then or for part of the time from like we drove, we picked them up in Marietta, California and uh -huh. the time from we drove to Las Vegas. Then we flew from Las Vegas to uh, Salt Lake, then Salt Lake to Missoula, dropped him off in Missoula. And after that, that's when I was just like chilling with the guy again. So like only a wow. part of it is with the kid and it's kind of stressful. Other than that, like it's just like me and the guy traveling, which is like pretty chill. And it could be more stressful if the kid's giving us a hard time, whether he's trying to run away or like um, kind of have a bad attitude or having like panic attacks or whatever. But this kid was like so chill like at first he was kind of like wait what's going on like was like i kind of having a panic attack once we yeah. explained everything and just kind of told him like hey we're just doing a job like we don't really know much about like the program you're going to we're just <laughs> transporting you um the kid yeah. kind of chilled out and started like talking to us and like it kind of sucks because i was like hey dude it's like two in the morning i'm trying to take a nap go to sleep here so but i have to watch uh -huh. to make sure and protect right so i'm like as soon as he goes to sleep i can go to sleep but the kid was like my guy was like hey man i really suggest like you get some sleep you're gonna be awake all day today and he's like i really can't sleep right now sir and then i was like dang it and he's like he's like but let me let me let me tell you 
uh, my story so you guys kind of get to know me better and this is like the kid talking he's 16 and he's like just goes into it he's like i'll start from the beginning i was born april and like literally goes through his life oh no and it was like three hours of like just him like blabbering about his uncle and stuff like that and i was like like you know i'm a good listener so i was just kind of vibing with him like i wasn't really saying much because like I just kind of keep it chill. Like I don't want to like uh, f- make them think that like we're friends or get it too attached or like, and I don't want to be mean. Yeah. So I literally just kind of sit there and listen. And he's like, eventually he's like, you know, you guys have like, I've had more fun with you guys than I, I've ever had with my parents. Uh, just cause like you guys listen to me and like care. And I'm just like, dang dude. Like, so there's actually like part of the job that's like actually like cool. Pretty fulfilling. Yeah. It's fulfilling. Cause you're like, get to like kind of have an effect on these kids. You don't want to get attached to them. Cause like they're, they're going to these places for a reason. So there's a lot of stories where kids will yeah, like, yeah, yeah. get attached to you and like be kind, but then like stab you in the back kind of vibe. So I was like, I was like, I want to be kind <laughs> to him, but I also have to like, cons- like constantly look out and make sure that he's not trying to pull any moves. But yeah, he was super chill. And like, kind of took it all positively. He's like, "Hey, man, like, I feel good without my phone. Like, I don't have to look over my shoulder because he was into some stuff with the law back in the sure. at home. But like, before they got to him, you know, he took him away. So like, it's kind of nice, yeah. it's kind of a relief. So he kind of took it positively, and then we dropped him off, and he's like really nervous. But you know, we we give him a hug, and we're like, "Good luck, man." <laughs> and like, it was literally like a cabin in the woods, like probably a three bedroom house cabin, middle of the woods in Montana. Like, I thought it was gonna be like a facility, but no, it's like three what? psychologists in this cabin in the woods with like no internet connection. I was just like, bro, That's good luck, dude. Nuts. <laughs> and I was like, okay. And then we drove <laughs> home and I'm like, dog. took the bag and called it a day. It's a good time. Wow. That is, that's a crazy job, man. I know, dude. That's I'm like, nuts. I'm actually like excited for it because I'm like, in my off days, I can work on all kinds of projects and still do yeah. DoorDash for gas money and stuff like that. It's like, it's nice. Dang. Wait, so I'm just trying to wrap my mind around, like, is there a lot to learn or is it pretty straightforward? Like, it is straightforward because like, and, and the guy said that, like the, my partner guy, who's like, he's like, I'll be honest, like this is not a hard job to get the grasp of. And it's not, especially like being, you know, they call it a companion, like the partner guy, like my position, uh-huh. like I'm basically just there to protect. So like I drive to help out, but essentially like I don't say anything to the kid. I just like follow his lead, the, you know, mm-hmm. the, the leads lead. And, uh, and I don't have to deal with like, uh, renting the car or the plane tickets or where that's we nice be. yeah so i'm just like chilling. i couldn't do that bro <laughs> <laughs> yeah but like the things you have to learn for me though like because i can figure out how to rent a car and like time out the flights and like get us where we need to go like it's not that uh-huh. big of a deal the thing for me though is like when we picked up the kid like so the lead had to call the parents and be like okay like make sure that he doesn't have any weapons around him that he's like safe he's packed Yo. don't like say i love you and then get out of the house like don't try to like have this big like goodbye party or whatever like it's just gonna make it worse so just like does so the to, kid like, know he's leaving um sometimes he knows he's going somewhere but like not when and this kid didn't know at all he had no idea that he was going somewhere so like it was a surprise for him so we walk in he's uh, like sound asleep on the couch just sitting there like zonked out and so the dad wakes him up and he's like hey we love you you're going someplace that will help you with what you're struggling with we love you goodbye and just like they just walk out the door and so my lead whips out the little badge we have badges and like our shirt has like a badge on it so we look official and he mm-hmm. flashes the badge and he's like we're with us youth transport we're here to take you to a treatment facility we're not here to hurt you we're not here to play games we're just going to lead you to the car and we're going to get going. So it's like the things he said, like I kind of wish I like had voice recorded it. Cause I want to know like how to yeah. go about approaching the kid. Cause like if you say it wrong or you are, or you're showing weakness or you're being too forward, like the kid freak could freak out and either oh, for sure. like reach for something and try to hurt you or, or just like give you a hard time and try to fight back. Luckily for us, this kid was like, he, I think he thought we were like marshals or like, uh, you know, sheriffs or something like that because he's into some yeah. stuff with like drugs over there. So it's like, I, I'm pretty sure he thought, oh crap, like this is it. I'm going to jail. So he yeah. played super chill. He was just like, of course, of course, like I'm ready to go. And like when we put, cause we, we grab his shoulder and grab his wrist on each side to make sure that he doesn't do anything. And we lead him out to the car and the car's door is already open. The car started like we're ready to go. And so like, you know, a lot of times a kid could resist, like, don't touch me. But we just told him like, this is the only time we're going to have to touch you. We're going to put our hands on your shoulder and uh, wrist and we're going to take you out of the car. And like, he was like a limp fish in my arm, dude. Like he was like, like, so he like, didn't, he wasn't going like, <laughs> to yeah. fight us at all. So it was really nice. Well, if, if he were to like just book it or something, do you have clearance to like tackle him or her? Uh, or? I think we have clearance to like, yeah, if he like tries to fight, we have clearance to put him on the ground or like, yeah, grab him and, and stop him from running away. But like, if he like spits in our face, like we can't just like beat him up or like punch him, you know, like we obviously this is this as is much like, as you may want to. Yeah, exactly. There's like a lot of liability with this job. And like you could definitely serve jail time if you do things wrong. So you have to be really careful with it. But like, yeah, wow. I've heard stories of like kids like being good the entire way. And then Salt Lake Airport, they just start booking it. 
trying to get out of the airport Ooh. and so you have to like chase them down and be ready for that kind of thing so i'm like always on the lookout when you walk in the airport we explain to him okay he, my, my lead guy was like, okay i'm gonna go in front you're gonna walk behind me and gabe's gonna be right behind you so like the entire time anywhere we go like we're in a line i'm right behind him watching him and the lead's leading us and he's just following him luckily yeah, that like, part could be intense i i see that yeah dude i think that um i'm glad that we put because we put hoodies over our uh our uniform thing uh-huh. just because it was cold which is nice because if, yeah, if you're at the airport and you see like a kid holding a bag and like two dudes in what which kind of like they kind of look like police uniforms like you might be like holy crap what's going on right so it was kind of nice like we didn't have to like get any attention but dude we always every single time we go on the plane with the kid my lead goes up and is like hey we need to pre-board because this is the situation so they're like pre-boarding starts now and like we're the first ones to get on the plane every single time so that's actually it's, it's freaking nice yeah and since you're not like going anywhere to stay like you don't have to check in luggage and you don't have to like bring a carry-on really like my lead mm-hmm. had a bag like a backpack but i was like i don't really have anything i need i'll just like use my phone and like i'm, I'm chilling so like yeah it's just like me getting on the plane it was like really convenient so did luke end up going too so he didn't go on that one he went on, on one, a different one yeah earlier his was shorter his was like sunday night to monday morning it was literally just overnight they went to california grabbed the kid dropped him off in like hurricane which is next to st george and then mm-hmm. we're done and so like his was like really convenient um his paid less wow. but like still like for overnight trip and you get paid you know multiple yeah like hundreds of dollars you're like nice did he did he have a similar experience with pretty much like how it went down in the format or was it pretty different um, it's it's basically the same without the flying part. Um, his kid, both of them were big. Both of them were like two like two hundred fifty plus six two kids. So both of us were kind of afraid. Like, are these guys gonna like fight back? Dude, you know? Yeah. My dude was two hundred and ninety pounds, but when he stood up, oh it was like all the weight was in his like midsection and his like legs kind of bent in a little bit. So I was like, okay, so he's not athletic. You know what I mean? Sure. He, like, he couldn't outrun me. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. So no, but his kid was like the opposite just as like chill like didn't like do anything but like wouldn't talk they're like we're asking him questions and he's like i don't really want to talk and just like went to sleep and like it was silent the whole time and i was like that's kind of nice <laughs> he just kind of like go to sleep <laughs> me my uh-huh. dude was just like talking my ear off and like became friends with me he's like man like how old are you dude and i'm like i'm 25 he's like crazy bro like i feel like i could have known you because he's like kind of ghetto <laughs> and i'm just like yeah dude and he's like you like cars bro i'm just like yeah yeah he's like man my friend was building this car dude i'm just like yeah yeah please like t- talk talk my ear off like i'll, I'll, I'll listen or so, they so they have to be between like what like 12 and 18 or something they're all minors um but there's like some kids they'll pick up that are like like seven years old so i've heard stories about like young oh. kids which wow. are kind of sad because it's like in that case it's just probably just like a horrible home life that they're going through and that's why they're getting picked up but um yeah dude i think most of them will probably be wow. like late teens before they're before they turn adult you know my guy was 16 so man that is crazy yeah dude i'm sure you'll get some crazy stories that would be great for the pod that i'm sure people would love to hear about <laughs> I know, i'm kind of wondering so like to- i'm like is this like confidentiality am i like breaking rules like telling about my experience but i'm like i'm sure it's fine i, don't know. <laughs> I mean yeah i guess you can check just to be 100 percent sure so you don't lose your job mm-hmm. but once yeah as long as I mean, I mean, I, don't, I, ain't, I ain't saying names, so I'm like, it's, it's all no, just kind right, of arbitrary. Exactly, yeah, as point. long as you keep that confidential, I don't know how anything can be traced back, but yeah. I don't know, maybe just to be safe, because that, that area is kind of not weird. It's just, you would think something's okay, and then you find out it's not or something. Right. But yeah, dude, that, I'm excited to hear more about it, though. Yeah, dude, it's sick. Um, okay, so on the other hand, I spent a couple days doing that. What have, uh, what have you been up to this last week? Hey, bro, well, everything I'm going to say sounds like <laughs> crazy <laughs> boring now. <laughs> you're like, yeah, you're like a freaking FBI agent, <laughs> like <laughs> transporting these troubled youth, like a hero. And I'm just like working on my van. And <laughs> Dude, that's heroic work in itself. It's, it's, Thank it's, it's you. chill. Well, I've almost, I'm almost done finishing the bed. Uh, everything's done. So in about a week, I'll be, I'll be all the way done. So what I'm hearing uh-huh. is that when you're done, Mm. you can live in your van right i could yeah easy, so essentially easy, easy a road day. trip to st george <laughs> it wouldn't be out of the question right and it's warm it wouldn't here. be we could do an outdoors pod a pod in the g's in the gz uh yes and <laughs> not, <laughs> not, yeah. not not the g's but yeah the gz that works yeah yeah my bad um <laughs> yeah i mean I'll, I'll keep you posted you know i got a lot of things in the works right now i'm sure you do um 
but yeah, dude, it's uh, it's been it's been good. I'm going up to Logan tomorrow for all day to help my parents with like uh, a job that they have. Dang. Yeah, but been playing in some volleyball tournaments, church ball. Um, doing a lot of homework. It's right. been it's been pretty busy. Are you grinding on school? Yeah, yeah, dude. I'm taking 19 credits this semester, and full time is considered I think 12. Wow, I didn't know you were like putting all that workload on you. Oh yeah, you know. So yeah, dude, I'm putting in mad work right now. <laughs> Just in the but grind, I, I was gonna say, looking at myself, seeing how it like came out when you edited the last episode, and like I was like watching it and stuff, <clears throat> and I got through it. I was like, man, I if I wasn't humble before, I need to be humbled now for for a couple different reasons. Really? First, I look like an absolute honey bun. Okay. <laughs> I look like a butterface. You could you could say whatever you want. Yeah. I just do. Um, mm-hmm. I think half of it is because you know jeans. I mean, you just you, right. you deal with what you have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but I would say maybe more than half of it is just my quality camera, my qu- camera quality. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> because it's, dude, it's you look. No, you look like a GI like Joe, and I look like a homeless <laughs> person who just picked up a Samsung on the side of the road. <laughs> well. So, well, uh, maybe it's maybe it's the twenty fourteen, twenty fifteen Mac. Could be it. Um, yeah. Here's what I'll say. But anyways, yeah, it, it's just it's just humbling to see your picture and you talking and then me and me talking, and I yeah, it, it's just good to keep me low. And then that means my my jokes, my personality, my charisma has to kind of carry everything else because what you're looking at isn't giving you much to, to really work with right right of course well I will so say it's been this. good for me uh-huh it's been just really good for me to study the game film and then <laughs> yeah. learn from it and now i'm approaching it a little bit different mm-hmm. okay no i agree uh well someone very wise mm. probably one of the wisest men i've ever met okay who is this <laughs> okay told me one time that um okay. that content Oh. is more important oh. than quality okay yeah and his name was alex cordon okay i love you know that's just a kid right there that's a that's a good one yeah i think it was one of the directors of the office where he said performance trumps camera work so true and and i live by that so, so. people i think that's like these days we're so used to like I wouldn't say low quality, but just like mid-tier quality video. Like everyone, like the memes we're sharing, Instagram Reels, TikToks, it's like everyone's just recording on their phone. So nobody's got like super high def film, like right? Like our pods, dude? Holy. Our pods look good. Like the ones that recorded with the real camera, like they look great. And I'm like, but I don't think people are like, oh, if it doesn't look like that, like I don't want to watch it. Like number one is audio quality. Plus if I'm looking at the numbers, more people listen to our podcast than, than watch it. So yeah, that's probably maybe at least for this time, maybe for the best. <laughs> but the again, best. if you're watching it, we love that too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I, I'd prefer it because I feel like part of our comedy is like the animation oh, and in the, our face. We're very animated, very yeah. charismatic, very Beautiful. facial expression ha- uh, carried. Yeah, yeah. We use that to our advantage. So if you're not watching, you're missing out on a little bit. But I will say, I listen because I have never listened to a podcast before ours. I have never like sat down and listened to ours, which is kind of weird. But maybe it's because I listened to it so many times editing it. So mm. maybe I do actually listen to it. But like um, me and Luke were talking about our podcast and I whipped it out and I had it on Bluetooth on the truck. And I was like, we were laughing. I was like, okay, this is actually good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's awesome, man. I love that. I'm like, that. it sounds good. It like vibes. So I'm like, you know. That's hilarious. I'm, I'm proud of us. Um, I did defend you though. I have. I just have to get this off my chest. Oh no! What it's I not say? Like my chest. It's like I have to get it off Luke's chest. No, you didn't say anything. You're perfect, just the way you are. Okay. Oh shoot! <laughs> but Luke was like, "Dude, you know what I'm thinking?" He's like, "I feel like," I f- and, th- and this is why I think that. I'll just I'll just tell the story and then I'll explain what this means. Okay, I, I dude, I am on, I'm at the edge of my bed right now. <laughs> Luke was like, "I feel like, like, you do all the editing and stuff on the podcast." And I'm like, "Yeah." I'm like, "I'm good at that stuff. I do it quick. I like it." I'm like, "Yeah." And mm-hmm. he's like. And like, I feel like you talk more. It's like, so like, is Alex doing anything? And I'm like, okay, listen. I was like, I get where you're coming from, but I'm like, but let me explain something to you. I'm like, Alex is probably more than 50% like of worth when it comes to the talking on the podcast. I'm like, I think the the problem is, and this is exactly why I feel like it's important that you go watch and come up with highlights because 
I don't mm-hmm. see highlights that you would see. And I feel like because I'm editing and because like, you know, I think I'm funny or whatever, more of the highlights might be like biased towards me. And I'm like, Alex, if you know, if you went and like found highlights, it'd be more biased too, yeah. towards you. So then I was like, well, look, let me prove something to you. So I sat down and like started like playing the podcast, bro. And I, I'm, I, I don't know how to like convey the weight of how hardcore his opinion was tr- like was flip flopped, but like he's a different man now because he, because he's never listened <laughs> to the pod, right? So like I, ex- uh, I basically okay. was like, well, watch, watch. And it, it, I think it was the uh, part in the, a couple episodes ago when you were explaining the story of New Year's kiss with like. Um, Mm -hmm. with like how he said like oh that man switched up quick and all that stuff and he was like cracking up and I'm like see dude like I could not do this without Alex because like I'll be honest like me and Luke like we have a great time talking and like good conversations and but I'm like Mm -hmm. I'm like Alex is goaded in the way that he has conversations like when I talk with you I'm like you always got like there's never like a moment where you're like oh yeah I don't know like you don't know what to say it's always just it's just straight gold coming from your mouth dude <laughs> so i just had to like bro, let that you know is so that I'm, funny, I'm here man. for you bro hey i loved every second of that story uh that, that made my day because i know you got my back mm-hmm. um and i love that you see the worth in in what we each bring to the table 100 you know? 100 percent. and and if we didn't understand that i think you know if we didn't understand our strengths and weaknesses we would have a hard time going back and forth and finding things that people like mm-hmm. um but like you know, Dennis Rodman's probably a name that you know. He played on the Bulls with Michael Jordan. Yeah. It's like, know your role. Like, this brother couldn't really score very well. So his stat lines were like, you know, 35 points. Or I'm sorry, 35 minutes, zero points, three blocks, 24 rebounds, and three steals. Like, he he knew what he was good at, and he kind of stuck to it. Yeah. I'm terrible at I've done it on extra ice, and I'm not good at it. Um, I mean, I can do it, but it's not something I enjoy. The editing. Um, yeah, I'm just, it's just not in my blood and that's right. not like an excuse for being lazy. Like I sat with you when we edited those two episodes and I was like, bro, like my mind can't <laughs> like anything tech. I'm just awful at, but yeah, yeah. like more of the creative ideas segments, like, you know, I, I kind of carry that weight a little more and you carry, you know, the more important weight, but I'm glad that, that you see that, um, that, that, that give and take, which, yeah. which you got to have. Well, it's like, we're like, a, we're like a puzzle. Mm. We're like a human puzzle, right? It's like we mm-hmm. fill each other in in like the most in the best ways, <laughs> in the most innocent way possible. Yeah, yeah. It's like because oh, another thing I told him was like Alex is like an idea, like vault. Like you're just full of good mm. ideas, and I'm like, I like I like come up with like small ideas to complement your main ideas, right? I'm like, so I came up with a sure. podcast, but like it would not be what it is today without you. And right. Like Kismet cards was like basically entirely your idea. And like, I came up with some like design elements and like some stuff for the website, but like essentially like, yeah, you come up with so many good ideas that carry the podcast and like, you know, make it what it is. So I'm like, you know, we, uh, we complete each other. Yeah. I appreciate that, man. This empire that we built is just a 50, 50, just money piece. Oh, it's just, it's all good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I will say one thing is, for you're right for the highlights i agree and, and i've listened to all that or all but one all but the one before this last one's episode yeah um and i've sent you different i mean we, we could throw a little beef in here which is which okay. i'm all for okay. um okay. yeah i mean i love you too but let me just get a little bit into this um <laughs> yeah and, and i sent you a couple highlights and i was like dude these are gold they're so funny they're hilarious and i clipped them right mm. and i sent them and then I did it again when I went back and found other ones from like the first or like the third and fourth episode. Yeah. And I was like, Gabe, these are so, these are like Grandpa Tickle Fight esque. Like, <laughs> yeah. these are money. Okay. And I was like so excited about them. And then you responded back and you're like, dude, like, these are so good. Like, this is genius. Like, you should just like clip highlights for me. I was like, yeah. And I'm like, okay, you know, good things coming. I'm excited <laughs> to see these go viral. And to this day, <laughs> We are. Let me see here. Hang on. Oh no, dude. Very early February. We started the pod. You know, dude, it's crazy. It's been three months. This is episode. I know. This is the Uno Dose piece. <laughs> and those piece. and those highlights haven't been posted. And so yeah. and here's the thing. My motivation to do that, not that I know you value my opinion, what you think is funny, mm-hmm. obviously. But when I don't see, you know, them being posted, I'm like, oh well maybe maybe he's like <laughs> Maybe he doesn't want them or maybe they're not good enough. So I'll just let him take care of it. That's, that's my person. Okay. 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 No, no beef, but sure, sure, sure. I want you to see my point to where I'm like, dude, like these are great. Like why haven't they been posted? And then when yeah. they're not, I'm like, oh, well, maybe so I just shouldn't do it. It's not that I don't, it's not that like the source problem is that I don't post them. 
Mm. Um, I mean, obviously, I it's full of my responsibility. Like, you sent them to me, and like I haven't made them, so that's like completely my fault. Um, it's that like those ep- like when you sent them to me, it was already past me editing that episode, and yeah. like usually, and not not that I'm against it, it's just because like my workflow. Like I just don't open back like old projects. So like I haven't even looked at it yet. So it's like, not that like I have them ready and I just haven't posted them. Cause I'm like, I don't like them. It's like, I literally yeah. have not opened that project, marked out where that is and like gone and done the editing and exported it and made them yet. And so I'm like, it literally is just my lack of discipline and like work ethic. You know what I mean? Like I kind of got lazy and was yeah. like, uh, if I want to make some highlights, I'll just make it in the project I'm already in and like whatever, I'll find For some sure. ones in here. So it's like, I literally just need to go into that 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 episode make those highlights um because i every single time i'm like oh we need some highlights i'm like we got a bunch because like he sent them to me but i'm like i'm like "Ah, should i make those right now (laughs) so it's just like this like internal monologue struggle i I don't say that to expose or to roast you Mm, at all of course like i'm really like i mean i'm semi frustrated no i'm not like mad i'm just more like bro like (laughs) yeah come on man like these are so good because people will love this yeah like some of our best stuff but i only say that for that reason and because i don't want you to think like i'm la- like being lazier like i don't want to participate obviously i do but there's again there's only so much on my end that i can contribute yeah, yeah. but so I'm not, this. I'm not if i make it. those then you'll feel like oh freak dude like he actually makes these and then i then you'll want to send me more uh yeah and and again that's not like my, my conscious thinking that's not how i want to think but yeah. it's more like feelings based like oh like i thought these were really funny and they are yeah. trust me and they are yeah and i agree they're great but again <laughs> exceptional it's kind of like it's kind of like if i were to bring you back food from any given place and i were to give it to you and then you i watched and you didn't eat it the next time i'm out what i think to bring you back food yeah 100 percent. okay who yeah that was been i've been pissed about that for about a couple months so i'm really glad i got that <laughs> off my chest. man it took you a while to get that off your chest yeah it did it did but dude uh let's just let's jump into the exciting stuff first it's it's a great thing when you're at home and your mom brings you in a plate of food mm-hmm. or she she gets back from somewhere and she just like kind of brings it in and you're just chilling that's yeah, a great right. feeling it is um just had to voice that and uh I, I know that you've been i mean we're discreet on the pod and i get that yeah um but not too discreet no so you've been you've been talking to a couple girls down in st george now that you know you got a fresh pool sure awesome fresh meat I, I got to hear some updates about this because I think you've been on a date. Um, no, I have I have not. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> but I appreciate it. <laughs> I should have known. <laughs> you helping me out there. So, um, no, it's been unfortunate <laughs> if I'm being real. <laughs> it's been unfortunate. Why is that? Because um, so this is kind of how it's gone down recently. Uh, I just, here's, here's the thing I learned. I'm not striking while the iron's hot, Okay. Uh, okay. There is there is a window where they're interested, and if you if you leave, let that window close, it's it's closed. So, mm. um, I had you know I had a couple opportunities, waited too long, and simultaneously got left undelivered <laughs> for a long mm. time. I'm still left undelivered on one of them. The other one she finally no opened way. It just left me. Yeah, bro. No, what? I know. I just want to text her and be like, you can just open it. And leave me on red. <laughs> you don't gotta play this game. You wow. know what I mean? Like I'm okay. Like I'm, I'm fine. Maybe I'd rather be left on red than you pretending not to have read it. I know. I know. Just leave me on red, so I know it's like we're not, we're not, we're not going for this. Like you don't yeah. have to, to like, yeah. be afraid of hurting my feelings. Just leave me undelivered. It's like the same. It's the same thing, really. Yeah. Just hurt them. It's, it's fine. Just hurt me, man. I'm, I'm calloused at this point. <laughs> okay yes yes so no yeah so i got yeah simultaneously um pre-date dumped right Mm. (laughs) and then and then over the time i was uh flying and like doing all that stuff i was like well i kind of want to like you know i like talking to girls (laughs) so i'm like sure i'm gonna i'm gonna see if there's anyone out there um, so I started talking to this one chick that like lives like forever away, like just purely for the sake of entertainment of like having a friend to a Snapchat, you know? And then I was like, you know, when you match with someone on a, on a dating app and they're far away, you're kind of just like, eh, what's the point? I'm not going to do anything about it because they're far away. It's like, we're never going to date. But I'm like, but purely for like entertainment slash confidence slash uh, practice sake, I'm like, 
might as well just get a bunch of chicks Snapchats that live far away and it's like mm. see if I can find any friends because there's one chick that I started snapping that's from far away originally I'm like she's like super cool and super cute I'm like I actually have fun snapping her like it's not like a it's not like a chore so I'm like okay. I got to go through a bunch of like it sounds bad <laughs> if I'm being real but if you, you got to like get a bunch of girls Snapchats and then like a lot of them are going to be boring so you're just like okay well I don't want to snap the you guys the process of elimination <laughs> is what you're describing yes 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 so I'm like uh I just will get a, a few and I, again, I don't want to go crazy. <laughs> just, just get a few <laughs> and then like, okay. And then like kind of see if there's anyone that's cool out there. Um, the only problem with that is that, uh, in about a day I was, I was pretty much burnt out. So I was like, I am already losing track of who I'm talking to and what I'm talking about. So yeah. I'm like, this is, that was a fun idea. It was cute, Gabe. I, you know, we appreciate it, but I think it's a no for me <laughs> for that one. Okay. 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 And here, and kind of piggybacking off of something you said in the beginning is, and you're you're kind of weird this way, where you won't drive more than maybe 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, when you were dating great, uh, yeah, I, yeah, when you were dating the grape orange soda, whatever that was, that, yeah. that thing, you you did good because you were in Payson, she was in Provo, so that you know that's a good 20 minutes, right? Well, I've I've dated around. like multiple girls, like from Payson to Provo Orem area, but okay, so 30 yeah, minutes I, I is just, about my max. Okay, maybe it's 30, not 15. Yeah, yeah. But I do feel like you have a weird thing where, like, you'll match with, like, this absolutely gorgeous girl, and you'll be like, oh, Salt Lake, there's no way. I was <laughs> like, bro, what? <laughs> like, I have no problem. Like, I've driven, like, hours, and, like, call me a simp. But, like, if she's cute, and, like, I think she's really cool, yeah. I just don't have an issue with that. I'm not saying that you do, but I haven't seen that same energy, and, and I want to know why that is. It's this for me. It's not that I'm not down to drive for a cool day and a cool experience because I am. But what I don't want is for it to be really good and then want to date her and realize, oh, I can't like just hang out every day and be with her because that's what I like hey, to do when I'm dating. you know what, Gabe? You got to pay a price, okay? What what hurts more, the, the pain of hard work or the pain of regret? I, wanna, I want that answer from you. Well... I live with both. Okay. It, okay. It's definitely regret, okay? <laughs> it's definitely it's definitely regret. Yeah, bro. And going off that again is I, I did drive a little a little ways to to go on a date recently. Mm -hmm. And and there's she's a, like it was a great time. She's a great girl and we had we had a lot of fun. Um, yeah. But it was just funny because on the date we were like very early on, like within maybe ten minutes, we get talking about Spider Man and and she is to say the least, very opinionated on who she thinks the best Spider-Man is. And and so, yeah, we talk about it a little bit and I'm, and I'm hearing her out. I'm hearing out her side of why she thinks X Spider-Man is the best for this reason and why this Spider-Man is bad because of this reason. And and I'm kind of smiling and she's like, what? Like, well, what do you think? And I was like, uh, I have a lot of thoughts. And she's like, well, tell me. And I was like, I literally, not only do I have a podcast, but I have a whole episode dedicated to this very topic. <laughs> And how do I convey that without sounding like pretentious, douchey? Yeah. <laughs> like I have a podcast. So it was funny because I was like, well, do you want to hear me talk about this digitally or like just in person? And she's like, what do you mean? And I didn't want to pull this, but I was like, yeah, you know, I've got a podcast. So I pull up the episode and we watched like a good amount of that topic. Yeah. And so it's just been interesting to, to whether it's being around someone new or like family and they'll bring up like, hey, so how's the podcast? And it's just funny to like, oh, they're talking to me. Like, I, I guess I do have a podcast. Yeah, yeah, um, I know all the time. It's like anyone can do it, but it's just funny that like we have this, uh, you know, this brand. Um, yeah, that's a thing. This, yeah, this kind of meta, just, just way that we go about this, mm -hmm. and it, it's just fun to to find myself, and I'm sure you found yourself in these situations where you get to talk about it and kind of not show it off, but you know, maybe maybe flex it a little bit. Yeah, yeah, of course. Well, it's like it always kind of takes me back distant friends and distant family that's like the main thing they know of that of you that's like, you know, currently <laughs> happening so you walk oh, in and they're like hey how's the podcast and i'm like oh i'm like oh i'm like yeah 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 the podcast uh <laughs> i always kind of forget like what are you talking about <laughs> i know because really like the, the word podcast it's essentially recording conversation mm -hmm. that is really nothing crazy yeah and saying like we should start a podcast like it's kind of saturated but at the same time, it's not because it's just doing what you're doing, just recording. Right. Like that's literally all it is. Anyone can do it. But again, can any everyone really do it? Because you have to be somewhat engaging and yeah. the topics have to be there. The the 
I, I say I feel like I use vibes a lot. What's another word for vibes? The energy, energy. has to be there. Yeah. The synergy. Um, Synchronicity. We have all that, but it's just we do, and yeah. you just can't teach that. No. I mean, you can't really teach athleticism. You can <laughs> teach skills. Uh, mm-hmm. Thankfully, we don't have to worry about either. But I'm just saying, it's been it's been a real journey for me, <laughs> yeah. and I'm stronger and better uh, because of it. Mm-hmm. And and I'm sure again, you found yourself in in a similar circumstance. But again, I just had to, I had to voice that uh, as well. Well, um, yeah, it's it's definitely something cool to have on the back burner. Like sometimes I'm like mm-hmm. I'm sitting there and I'm just like, dude, like, what am I doing with my life? You know? And then I'm like, oh wait, I have a podcast. <laughs> Wait, 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 false alarm. Everything's okay. We're good. We're good. Um, so it definitely is nice to kind of always have there. It's like, it's like an anchor to like productivity mm. and like a future. Yeah. For me, it true. feels like. And it's something every week that's consistent mm-hmm. that, you know, you have to be mindful of, you have to be thoughtful of. I mean, yeah, you can kind of wing it, but I feel like it's, it, I just never feel like we're winging it. I feel like we've usually got a good base and the more we do, I think the better we are at you know, finding a rhythm. Like you look back at our first couple ones. I mean, again, we're on episode 12, but you look back at our first couple ones and it's like, ah, like it was good. But compared to now, it, it's, it's just, it's literally a different podcast. Oh yeah. hundred percent. Like we're, yeah, there's a flow to it that, that yeah. we've, oh, yeah. as, as I've said before, we have beheld it's, mm-hmm. you know, behold the unfold. We have beheld the unfolding of, mm-hmm. of what it is. So it's like, it's cool to see and it's only going to get better. Right. Um, cause right now we're in a certain phase, like we're doing it remotely. It's like a different kind of phase of the podcast. It's like, you know, people will look back and be like, man, and maybe there'll be a special, uh, sauce that comes along mm-hmm. with doing it remotely that people might, might even miss, you know, the nostalgia of the early days when they were remote. Yeah. Do you remember when they were doing it remote? Like, That's crazy, yeah, dude. those were the days, dude. Um, I did want to mention though, that I have had a recent renewal of mm-hmm. the fire. I love that word of the podcast. Cause really? yeah, for a second there, like with all the moving and maybe with like girls being a distraction or wh- whatever, um, with like other projects I've wanted to work on, like, it's like, you know, we stay consistent on the weekly uploads, but maybe I get a little distracted on, on yeah. the, uh, the other I workflow. I mean, it's, it's life, man. You, you've been yeah. doing a lot. I've been doing a lot. It, it just happens. Of course. But I, I, a certain someone, and again, I'm always confused on whether or not I should share names, but let's just say that he's, he's a decently large name in, in, in Utah content creation okay so oh yeah i i already got you bro it's yeah, yeah. The, it's the synergy i got you. you you know so i'm like so he he actually reached out and mentioned like the the latest podcast and is like hey i heard you like you moved to st george like what like how are you gonna do the podcast now and so like i tell him like hey like we're gonna do it remote and he's like yeah i'm like just like so interested to see your guys's growth like the engagement you get and and like the the podcast is so cool so he's like a big fan and like he was just kind of like i think he's like man, what a real one man i know for real I think mainly he's just being supportive, but he did kind of give me a glimpse because he's kind of, I, I asked him about like what he's doing and he's much farther mm-hmm. ahead than us when it comes to like the type of audience he has and the type of sure. growth he's experiencing. But he had mentioned like kind of some of the things that the benefits that he is seeing from it and like the things that he's now going through and working on. And I'm like, bro, I'm like, I'm just so excited for our future. Yeah. I'm also like cool. so glad that we're doing this. Right. And so I'm like, I, I got to like re recommit myself to focus so that's why like you saw like this last week i uploaded a few before i left for the mm-hmm. trip i uploaded a few highlights because i was like all right, i gotta get some more done so I, I made some more and i'm just like which is it, it's kind of sad because i think that um the lack of consistency lately when it comes to tiktok has kind of caused our account to not get the same amount of growth because like usually i'll throw up in a, uh, a highlight and if it's decent it'll get like you know 30k views or something like that the last mm-hmm. few have only gotten like a couple thousand and we're actually and really good followers. too i know i loved those ones and uh and we're actually losing followers it's weird like we'll gain followers but when i check we're lower so i don't know if it's like inactive accounts being deleted or people just like mm. seeing the latest highlights and being like oh i don't really want to follow these guys anymore but we're like yeah. straight hovering around 18k and not really going up or down so i'm like i really need to stay consistent the next few weeks so we can get back on like tiktok's good side i guess and have sure. some viral bits because that's what we're i was gonna say dude and we've got some in the vault that are sure surely <laughs> surely gonna, going to. gonna get us right back uh, mm-hmm. you know on top right um, where we belong so again i'm not worried about the content by any means that that's ever growing mm-hmm. um but yeah that algorithm we got to keep that on our on our we got to find the sweet spot there another thing dude we get something we get offers frequently 
and I feel like we need to address this and talk about it and maybe plan for something in the future because I had a good idea. So this okay. guy, I don't know his name, um, and I, I know what he looks like because of his Instagram uh, picture and maybe he'll listen and mm-hmm. hear this but I feel like half the time when people message like they don't actually listen to our podcast they're just like trying to get attention or something but you seem like a chill dude hey I respect that grind by the way <laughs> yeah. I mean who hasn't been there <laughs> right uh, he sent a voice message and he's like hey Alex and Gabe he's like let me know if you're ever in Salt Lake you can go hit Lake Effect with me and the boys there's never a dull moment with me and the boys it'll be great content <laughs> for the pod let me know and I'm like so he sounded like a total chat like sick dude like i'm sure he's got a, like a cool friend group that want to like be on the pot or whatever and i was what? like uh, i don't really I, one i don't know i don't know what he meant or what he said when he said lake effect so i just had to hit him up like well, what's lake effect but point is is i'm like i'm like i don't want to do guests where we're like we bring on one person and we interview them and it's like interesting info i want to like i have this idea like what if one day we have like a traveling like friend group feature we find like a friend group that's got like sick vibes and we basically like you and me on one side post it up and the, all like and like six dudes and we're just like chatting wow, with them and like wow that'd be chaotic be a, i know i'm like it might be a vibe but i'm like you know all these friend groups are like whoa man like we're cool like we want to be on some sort of like pod and show off our like vibes uh-huh. and i'm like i'm like maybe it's a thing i don't know but i'm like it'd be a sick idea but yeah, no, I think it's it's definitely something to explore. Mm. I'm not denying that in the slightest. Um, we should make sure that that our, vibes are and that's the thing, because it's so different digitally. I mean, they, this works because we we done it in person, right? Yeah. But I think we had a similar experience with the TikTok live, where like these people seem sick. Like I won't name names, but I think you know who I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. And then and then you get them on, and it's like, bro, like what? <laughs> and again, not that the not that this dynamic is. Um, fragile mm-hmm. but when you throw something else in there that we're not accustomed to I don't know if that would break up that synergy and, and then we're trying to accommodate or go lower or higher than, than what we've already kind of established true sure um, but no I think the idea is great I, I, I agree with you but I don't I just feel like it would be hard to find what we've kind of created this brand in other places true I, I, I do think that um one like yeah right now it's it's too fragile was a good word it's like the balance right now we're still like like solidifying what it is right and so i'm like one day maybe yeah. we'll be confident enough in in exactly what we are that like no matter what happens like we're still right yeah, there that's, yeah maybe that's it but we get so many like so many people asking like let me be a guest and i'm like the way i see it is in the future it's only going to increase people are only going to want to be included more so i'm like mm-hmm. Here, I think the plan is one day when we decide, okay, to spice things up, to to add some content, we'll we'll get some guests. And I don't really want to do like a one person guest. If it's gonna be a guest, I want it to be like, I want it to be like a. Let's a get group. a crowd in here. Yeah, I want I want to get some peeps, <laughs> yeah. you know. So my my thing is like, let's do an interview process. It's like if we want to include a person, we like grab three people that have asked bring them in. We'll talk to them. And if we're like, yeah, the vibes just aren't there, then like you don't get on the pod. <laughs> but if like you impress us, that's brutal. We'll be on the pod, my man. <laughs> yeah send us like a send us like a a 60 second video just tell us about (laughs) yourself and again like it'd be fun to interview but that's not like the precipice of what we do we don't i mean yes of course we're interested in other people we're not that stealth (laughs) like absorbed (laughs) that's not what i mean but like the the format is like we just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives and not that you can't do that with somebody else but i feel like it would just be hard to bring them in and it would feel like an interview and that's not what we're going for. Mm-hmm. We're going for very laid back and and if we were to bring someone else in, I feel like it would be hard not for it to be that way. That's my only reservation. Because I, yeah, I don't want it to be like, so hey guys, so where, where are you guys from? Like, I don't want it to be like yeah, some weird man. interview, but I do think- If you want to do that, watch Jimmy Fallon or James <laughs> Corden. We, we we don't do that here. Yeah, no, we're, it really, this really is- you know, we're playing off of the fact that people enjoy other people, right? When they when they see people mm-hmm. with positive energy and and like they're comfortable and confident, like people want to be around yeah. that. So that's kind of what we're playing off of. But I do think, how sick would it be if we took a handful of our our uh, segments over under, uh, dap me up, things like that, Ooh. and like got three of them, and like when we it wasn't an interview, but we're like okay, okay, okay. yeah, we're like we tell the person, yeah. okay, what's a controversial opinion? And if they like say something dumb, we're like nah that's not it or we like dap them up or it's like over i like that dude we could use our like segments that. to interview other people so that yeah could be cool. so we tie every guest with a segment yeah, yeah yeah yeah. give them like we're talking like 
five minutes max, maybe mm-hmm. a couple minutes, just depending on like rapid fire. Uh, yeah, another yeah, I love that. I, th- I said we put a pin in that. Another thing would be cool is we just it's kind of like a speed dating thing where it's, hey, we have like sixty seconds with you, and 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 if it's like going good, we can obviously go longer. But like it'd be sick if we had just like ten people lined up, <laughs> yeah. and they come in, we ask them just like a question or. We throw something at them and see how they react. And then once we're done, we have like a buzzer that we hit. And then that means like, okay, you're done bringing yeah. someone else. And it's just like chaotic, yeah, yeah, like yeah. frenzy the whole time. That would be way sick. These are like, <laughs> wow, we're just coming up with good ideas on the pod live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clip it. Someone clip this. <laughs> Dude, also, somebody somebody commented. Uh, you probably saw it on, on one of our highlights on Instagram. It was like, you guys should mm-hmm. live stream the pod. And I'm like, maybe one day when we're in a position, like when we yeah. record, we just live stream us recording it. People can join in like. That's just, you know, extra, extra content. That's so, not bad at all. Um, I was going to mention something. Oh, you know that one podcast? I don't know if it's a podcast, but it's more of an interview type thing where that one dude, he always like has like a face on and he's got like the, the facial hair and the really long hair and the dude, the fat dude in the middle eating ice cream. You ever seen that dude? And he's like, and he like and I don't know. His questions are so good. I'll have to show you him sometime. But like, yeah, I, I watch content that like, uh, you know, is worthwhile, but keep going. Okay, okay, okay. Well, uh, just <laughs> <laughs> never mind, Sorry, man. I'll, Sorry. S- I'll send you a highlight. You just, you know, you know, you're just kind of like not that well versed in like uh, oh, uh, the, sure. the the important things that are happening on the internet. But you know, mm-hmm. uh, that's fine. So, so why, why'd you bring it up? Or, um, I guess I just wanted to explain to you that maybe there's certain kind of interviews that are funny because we can kind of like, oh, okay, we're not interviewing them to learn about them. We're interviewing them to kind of like tease them or poke fun at them and like. You gotcha. create funny content by like interviewing them a certain way, but if you if you don't uh, if you haven't seen them, then let's talk about it. Well, yeah, it's okay because I've always been a content over feelings type of guy. Uh, <laughs> I'm not afraid to ruffle a couple feathers to get a clip. I never sure. happen. No. And uh, and if you look at our channel, you'll see that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But no, that's uh yeah, that's interesting. We'll I explore guess some options. I just, yeah, that yeah, that would be a good clip to have for us to go back because I feel like we come up with a lot of ideas that we just never write down. I know. But hey, dude, that might be a good segment. It's a little brainstorm- brainstorming session where we both come prepared with a couple ideas and we just bounce them off each other. We yeah, just have dude. that as part of the pod. But I am excited for whenever one day we can get back in person. Because I think the uh, our options yeah, are a little bit more, uh, you know, because a, a lot of content creators these days do like reactions and be like, dude, did you see that one video? And like, it'll pop up on the screen. Yeah. Or, uh-huh. like, or like we're in person, but the person we're interviewing is on, you know, FaceTime or like a Zoom call. So it's like, my like, in-person right. is definitely goaded. So uh, whenever that can get Dude, you know, reunited. <laughs> I know. Sick. And I've been thinking like I've been home a month now and I'm like, and I, I really have enjoyed being here again, but mm-hmm. I'm definitely, <laughs> I don't know. It's just, and again, I could be with any amount of people or any type of people, but once you've lived on your own, it's just hard to not live on your own again. Um, so yeah, I'm, I don't know what my next move is going to be, whether I'm going back to Utah County or a small part of me and I'm all talk small part of me. It's like, dude, I always love to go. Just give me six months in Hawaii, man. Just give me six months. Bro, I could find something to do there to, you know, pay rent or whatever. Just mm-hmm. let me just go vibe, absolutely vibe out for an extended period of time. Or, you know, I just, I don't know what, what I'm going to do, but here, here relatively soon, pretty soon. Mm-hmm. I need to figure it out so I can make a move. Well, whatever you do, just know mm-hmm. that if you leave the Hawaii, then this whole remote <laughs> thing is going to continue. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm just doing it to get away from the pod, man. It's, it's too much pressure. <laughs> I can't do it. Uh, I'm just saying that St. George is a pretty warm place. And obviously, it, like, it I, don't, I don't know how long, like, me living in the South is going to be. Like, a million things could happen. But, uh... Yeah. You know, we just need to, I think you and I have always been like such close friends yet so unsynced mm. with. Yeah, very true, dude. With That's, how we're, yeah, with the with, I know, what we're we, doing. And like life. we are in the same stage of life, but in the same time, we're definitely like not. Mm-hmm. I don't know how to explain that. Even though we, uh, even though we have a very similar dynamic of being single, um, <laughs> you know, kind of figuring things out, being very creative. Obviously, we have a podcast. If you guys didn't know, um, <laughs> as they're 45 minutes into this episode, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is a hidden gem for all those listening. We, we love and appreciate you. Just know that right now. Um, but yeah, man, yeah, you're right. It's never really felt quite, even though we're a puzzle piece, 
maybe we're just the same piece and that's why it hasn't quite <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> gone right in uh, right, yeah, but yeah. here here soon and we probably said this a lot of times but here soon it'd be nice if we could finally get get that right yeah dude because I mean, I think about our future. Like one day we'll, you know, have a family and be doing all kinds of stuff. You and I? Those. Well, like not together, but we each have our <laughs> oh, individual oh, oh. families. Frank. No, for sure. I was, yeah, I was, just, I was joking around. Yeah, course, it was, it was just dumb. It was dumb. Um, so I'm like, when you, when you have a family and I have a family, it's like, are we going to always live close together? Cause like, you know, if we yeah. don't and we decide we don't want to do, you know, zoom calls for podcasts, like podcast could die mm-hmm. so i'm like my feeling is like we should always try to live probably close together because like if we're gonna have some sort of career anyways it's just like you know it's it's probably deep sure. down in the future but i'm just like what's gonna happen in the future because you know we can make a uh it work with with remote calls and stuff like that but preferably i mean i've always wanted to make rocket league content or like you've wanted to like travel around and interview people so it's like all these things we want to do i'm like yeah. somehow we got to get synced up because you know you're my bro. Oh crap! <laughs> oh crap! Same, I start crying. <laughs> hey, we love we love the self positivity and uh, the the compliments to each mm-hmm. other. That's what makes us. We're just very transparent. We're very open <laughs> on this pod. Yeah, yeah. So um, and I, I'm not gonna lie. I I haven't. I may have said in the past, or maybe just recently, or today. Um, <laughs> That, that you're my man crush I, and wow. i'm not gonna i'm not gonna yeah hang on i'm not gonna <laughs> say that i said that but i'm also not gonna deny it uh, but we're, we just gotta hype each other up <laughs> yeah. all the time <laughs> yeah we're, we're hype men for each other and for we ourselves are. we are dude um but yeah there's uh, there's some juicy things going on off the pod mm-hmm. again we keep confidences around here and i said that in the first episode and i got a lot of hate for it i looked it up that is a correct way to use that word it, is, it also means confidentiality confidentiality it's like in the same arena oh, as that yeah 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 because you, you definitely you talked yeah you gave me a little heat for it and then the <laughs> comments did too someone oh, quoted like dude. confidences and laughed i was like that was definitely right anyways, <laughs> anyways. Um, but yeah off the pod i got a yeah i am excited to talk about some stuff but uh so are we are we staying on the zoom call a little longer or you got to go somewhere i think think we are i think we are give give me a couple minutes after so okay okay unless you wanted to close up with anything else because i feel like that's a that's a good place (sighs) i mean next week we're gonna we're gonna record earlier in the week i think it's probably good yeah and we're gonna we're gonna throw in some segments too we'll be a little bit today was just kind of i'm just feeling her out you know we don't need a segment but we'll throw we'll get some uh a little bit more organized next time i do think that we uh, we've done this without even thinking about it it's like we have one podcast it's like segment filled like really written out and the next one mm-hmm. it's like real chill we're just hanging and then it's like segment filled and then hanging it's like we do a good job yeah. of kind of you know switching it up again style. And, and if we're not complimenting our own skills in podcasts at <laughs> least what i say in this in the highlight at least four times an episode something's wrong yeah and something's um, never been wrong <laughs> So. never like i didn't think one time this episode oh what should we talk about it's just good <laughs> the purity and fluidity fluidity of mm. of this pod that's why we're ranked number 87th in denmark okay <laughs> yeah. you don't get you don't get to be ranked 80 the most 87th listened to podcast in denmark by just slacking off no you work for it and that's why so. we're 87 you don't get ranked you know 4916 in the u.s by just <laughs> hanging out, you put in the work. Yeah, you grind. You show up every day. Again, yes, thank you. The pot is on my mind while I'm eating in the shower when I'm sleeping. That's what I dream about. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and I just yeah. wish other podcasters knew that. But yeah. it's, it's okay. We're coming for the top, Joe Rogan. We're coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Joey. Listen, you had a good run, bud. The thing is about to change. <laughs> yeah. Hey. You know I love you, baby. I love, yeah. I lo- I love all the uppies. <laughs> You're about to say thanks. I'm like, shh. Are you right? I love my uppies out there. We appreciate it. again. If you've made it to to minute 52, I'm gonna guess right now, but we're on. Um, you're just you're you're so real. It's it's bizarre. So thank you for being here. We love you. We do it for you, and uh, we love your feedback and love. So so thank you, thank you. Uh, ditto. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs>